everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so I've done one, I'm looking at them, one, two, three, um, five. Have I done five? I have. I've done five. Five color splits already. Um, and now I'm on painting number six today. Um, but before I get started, I want to show you the dried results of the earth tone color palette here so here it is super happy with the way it dried and you can see there is so much shimmer in this um super duper happy with this piece oh don't go too close so you can see i like that right down here that would be the arteza marmalade all right now let's come over here on this side so it uh it dried really really nice this is a really nice color palette um for anyone who's got earthy tones in their home uh this piece would be really beautiful uh if anyone is interested in this piece you can email me at camellaseraco at gmail.com for inquiries so it's a 12 by 36 inch canvas uh, I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to put this away super quick. All right. I still have one spot left. Tammy and I in the Fluid Art Creative Escape Workshop. One spot. That is the Sunday, July 10th evening spot. If anyone is interested in filling that last spot, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. It is going to be a great time. We've got some amazing sponsors, which means some pretty good gifts to be giving out to all our students who will be attending. You will all be leaving with a really full goodie bag of all kinds of really great stuff. Um, but come and learn with us. Come and learn how to do a bloom with Tammy and a Dutch pour with me. Um, so if you're interested, one spot left. Um, okay, so I'm going to get started. The color I'm using today is going to be a smoky mustard yellow. Now, I know not everybody loves the same color um, and not everybody loves yellow or even a mustard yellow. I don't, but I'm going to try it anyway because um, it might surprise you. Um, I don't like it either, but I'm going to try it and I'm going to see what it's going to look like with the colors I've chosen that complement the mustard yellow. And you might be surprised. So I'm going to do it anyway because there are people out there watching who do like it. So I'm going to get myself set up and we're going to get started. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I get started real quick, I forgot to mention, um, don't forget about the hardboard rounds here that I have available. Um, they are still up for pre-order. So if you are interested in pre-ordering any of the rounds, you can email me at canalasaraco at gmail.com. Uh, pre-order will stay open probably for all of May and potentially all of June. And then once that pre-order is closed, um, I'm not doing any more. Um, so get your hands on them while you can and pre-order in advance. Uh, I've got the four inch rounds and four inch squares. And then I have eight, 10 and 12 inch. Well, just shy of 12. It's like 11.75 uh, inch rounds in the bigger version. So if you are interested and need uh, details on price, you can email me canalasoreco at gmail.com. Um, please note that when you do email me, um, you can't really ask me how much shipping is going to be. I cannot tell you how much shipping is going to be because shipping um, price depends on the weight of the box and the size of the box. So if you order 10 of these, it could cost you maybe 15 bucks to ship to the U.S., but if you order 100 of them, um, that's a big difference. Uh, the box gets bigger and the box gets a lot heavier, which then could be 50 bucks to ship. It really depends on what you order, how much you order of it, and what size you order. Um, so I cannot tell you shipping um, at all, not even like a remotely close to a shipping estimate. Um, you know, I have to pack up the order, weigh the box, measure the box, and then I can give you shipping. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're shooting an email off to me saying, hey, I want this many and can you tell me how much shipping is? 
<laughs> I can't. So pre-order is still happening. All right. 12 by 36 inch canvas. Um, you saw all the other, um, you saw all five pieces up on the wall. I'm running out of space, but I love the fact that they're all the same size. I'm so glad I stuck to the same size. So my white base, of course, is going to be my Artist Loft. I have a doggy <laughs> hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, um, the 2019 bottle. All right. And my base, which is this very interesting mustard base <laughs> color. Again, not my color. And, you know, I get it. Some people don't like this color and some people really, really do like this color. There are 160,000 people subscribed to my channel. Not everyone's going to like the same thing, right? Um, so the color of that is yellow ochre. I think I said that right. And that is by Amsterdam. And of course, I've lightened it up with titanium white by Amsterdam. And then I goofed and added way too much of the oxide black and it turned super duper duper dark. Um, so again, don't make that mistake. I've done that twice now, okay? I did that with the dusty rose and now I've done it with this one. So I had to add a lot more of this and white to lighten it up to get back to the color I was looking for. So keep that in mind. Do not overdo it with the black. Add one drop, I kid you not, one drop at a time and go from there because you can always add more, but you can never take it out if you add too much. You're just going to have to keep adding more of your other colors to get to the color that you want. So with this one, uh, all my colors are going to be dark. I usually have a bright color in there somewhere, but this one's going to be a dark, mysterious painting. So we are going to start with a color I've never used before. Uh, Pearl Space Gray by Arteza. So I'm really loving the Arteza brand. Um, the metallic pearls and don't forget if you are shopping um, on the Arteza website you can save 10% off uh, the discount code is listed in the description below and I'll put it here as well but you can save 10% off um, unfortunately they do not ship to Canada I know it sucks um, how did I get them because I'm here in Canada I got them off Amazon um, but you can't find them anymore like they have been sold out on Amazon um, for months and months and months and months and months. Um, it's it's really sad, really, because they're great paints. And it sucks that my fellow Canadians um, can't get Arteza here. Um, if you're in Canada and you know of a different place to buy Arteza paints, please let me know. Um, for everyone else in the U.S. and in the U.K., I believe, I've got a 10% discount. Next color I'm using is Dioxazine Violet by Holbein. I actually threw this color in about an hour before I started this video. I thought, oh, you know what? The dark rich purple would look good with the mustard. Then I'm going to use Antique Copper by Folk Art. Another color I haven't really used a lot lately. Um, and I have to be very light-handed with this one because it does take over. Like it really does take over. So you gotta be careful with that one. Then I've got Pewter by Deco Art. So there's another Deco Art in here. And then topping it off, I've got Blue Black Indigo by Atelier, all right? So I've got two shimmers here and a shimmer here. And they're all dark, like super duper <laughs> completely dark colors. Um, I really debated trying to find a bright color to add into there, but I, I just couldn't find anything. I almost, almost added uh, Naples Yellow Red because I thought that looked cool together, but I didn't know if it would mesh well with this palette. I don't know. I, I just, I wanted to keep it dark and mysterious. So I omitted that color and I'm sticking with this and I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but there it is. There it's, it's gonna, I'm not lying. It's going to be a very interesting color palette to say the least. And, um, I, I'm really afraid of this one. <laughs> I'm really, uh, I really don't know how this one's going to turn out. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, all the other paintings I've done, I'm like, yeah, I like these colors. Yeah, they look great. But this one, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let me flood my canvas and I'll be right back.
All right, the base is flooded. Just move that reflection there. Okay, let's get started. I'm really, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm really nervous about this one because of just the color palette in general. Um, I did go on Pinterest and, and look to see what kind of color palettes they had with mustard yellow. Um, and they did have some really pretty turquoise colors. And, um, you know, the turquoise would have looked really pretty, but I'm, I'm trying to keep this into like a, a smoky theme, right? So I didn't think I wanted to add like a bright turquoise color or like a bright teal color. So I wanted to stick to these dark, mysterious, you know, type of colors, right? So we'll see what happens. Trial and error. Okay, here's the folk art by Anti Copper uh, or Anti Copper by Folk Art. And you don't want to do too much with this one. This one seems to really overpower. So we'll see that how that one goes. And then we've got the pewter here. I'm really glad I added that uh, purple. And um, you know what? Yeah, I was going to add a little bit more, but I, I can really see it in here. So I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to add any more. And then we'll top it off with this dark uh, blue black by Atelier. All right. I don't know. I'm nervous. See, I'm so nervous. I haven't even plugged in my hair dryer. <laughs> I got to do that still. Let me pop the bubbles before I forget. All right, so that's popped. I guess I would need my hair dryer now, wouldn't I? All right. Here we go. So I'm gonna start here and you know the drill. I, this is my sixth one, so let's just get going. Okay, so don't knock it till you try it. Um, you know, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm so glad I added that purple by Holbein because it, it is pretty dominant. Um, I really wish there was a little more blue though. I lost... Um, the blue black indigo kind of like the the purple is really overpowering uh, i'm glad that the um anti-copper is not so that turned out really well uh wow this is insane this is crazy okay first of all there's a little white fleck i gotta get that out Oh my goodness, I am so impressed with these colors. What, do, like, there's a lot of the blue, black, indigo right here and here, which I really, really like. So there's a few things, a few spots. Let me get my Thomas stool out. I want to blow this because um, it's just like straight line there and I kind of don't like that. So I want to fix that. All right, so that's much better. What else do I need to fix? I think I wanna try and blow a little of this blue-black strip in here. Not too much though, because I don't wanna lose a lot of the negative space here of the mustard. Wow. 
Wow, I am so pleasantly surprised with this piece. Um, really surprised with this piece. All right, so now I'm gonna blow, there's a lot of blue black right here and I wanna blow it into this little grayish area. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, I like that so much better. It added such beautiful blue and purple right there. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, no, I think I really like it uh, the way it is. I'm so pleasantly surprised. I can't even tell you how pleasantly surprised I am with this piece. Uh, I am going to fix up my edges. And I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I show you the close-up, don't forget, take your stick and you want to scrape those drips. Super duper important. You guys know the drill, but there are new people watching. So scrape those drips. Come back 10 minutes later. Do it again and then a third time and you should be good after that. Wow. Look at this piece. I can't even get over it. Uh, there's, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be so interesting when this dries. There's a lot of purple in here. I was really hoping for more of the blue black by Atelier. And considering I put it on last, the purple did take over. So you guys who have been watching for a long time, you know how much I say that uh, Atelier or no Holbein, sorry, really does take over. So be very light handed when it comes to the uh, Holbein paints because they are very rich in color and very pigmented in color and they do tend to take over. So there you have it with the lights on. So let's turn the lights off and see what it looks like. All right, so I do have the flash on, but it is really sunny and bright in here today. Um, let's just see. I know there's going to be shimmer in here because three out of the, how many colors did I use? Five, six, I can't even remember. Um, but there's definitely, see, there you go. Right there, there's a lot of shimmer. So there's, there's gonna be a lot in here because I've got the Arteza Pearl, in here and then the deco art the two deco art yeah so there was three whoa this is so pretty and you know what the more i look at this mustard yellow the more i really really like it um i like you don't know unless you try i would have never thought to do this color as a base um a few people mentioned it and i said you know what why not I need to do a yellow type kind of color. So I figured this mu must musty, oh my gosh, I was gonna say uh, smoky mustard yellow would look good. See, the closer I go, it the, my camera kind of changes the colors. There you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, if you don't like it, it's fine. I can take it, I'm a big girl. Um, it's, it's totally okay if you don't like mustard yellow, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it dry. It should be very, very interesting. I think I'll do a few more and then that should be it for the color split series. Unless you guys want to see more. I don't know. Let me know. I'm still planning on a gray base, gray silverish type of base. Um, maybe a smoky teal or turquoise uh i've had a few people mention like a bordeaux wine color so there's still a few more i can do so let me know your thoughts i've already gone ahead and put my excess here in my lowly veffy container don't forget you can get the reusable stir sticks this container the silicone mats 
the squeeze bottles and you can get that all on lowlyveffy.com and you can save 10% off using code canela10. So that is it for me for now. Um, yeah, so, um, please subscribe if you are watching and you are not subscribed to my channel, you like what you see, hit that red subscription button and that is it for me for now. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.